Welcome to the Wi-Fi Pineapple tutorial series. In this video, we're going to look at the module API Tokens. So your Pineapple actually offers an API that allows you to make remote invocations of your modules. Now the location of this API is in the following path, slash pineapple slash API. Now the secure tokens are actually stored in a local database on the Pineapple located in the directory Etsy Pineapple and the file is called pineapple.db. So in the API token code you will see references to this database. Now the purpose of the API tokens module is to allow you to add authentication access controls around the calling of your modules via API calls. So this is very handy because you don't just want anybody invoking modules on your Pineapple. You want to be able to authenticate that this is a client that you've actually authorized to come in. Now you should realize that the tokens that are generated are actually SHA-512 strength and they're randomly generated values. So let's see this module in action. I'm going to go ahead and create a token that's called My API Token. I'm going to generate that. You can see I've got a token generated here. Now I'm going to use this token in my API request to the pineapple. Now first, you need to grab the URL. As you can see, it doesn't invoke properly here in my browser. I need to actually send the JSON array with some additional data, including my token. Now how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use Postman. If you're not familiar with Postman, it's a very handy add-on to Chrome and allows you to send post requests quite easily. So the first thing you want to do in Postman is change the default get to a post. Go ahead and paste in that URL that we were just at. You're going to change the body to be content of JSON. And the content here is going to be a structure similar to this. Now, these notifications actually will appear on the dashboard of your Pineapple after you invoke this. And then you can add into the array additional values. And of course, you need to code to, to parse these particular values out. But the main name value pair that we're interested in is this API token. So this is actually specified, of course, in the code, and it's going to grab the value associated with that name. So if we go back to our module and we grab our token, we paste that, and then we go ahead and send that. And you can see that the result is a success. Now, let's go back into the module and revoke this token. So I'm going to go ahead and revoke this token. Go back here to Postman, and now you can see that I am no longer authenticated. So I hope this demo will encourage you to add API tokens to the remote calling of your modules.